Hi guys, Luke here with Motion Page, back with the tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be very quick. It's just a very simple effect which looks like this. So in the next section here, we have some images and when you scroll down, this is what it kind of looks like. This is locked to the scroll bar, as you can see. When we go up, it reverses the animation. Um, but these elements, they have um, these names attached. This is not using motion page, by the way, uh, but I will show you how to do that. Um, but yeah, just a very simple effect. It looks nice. It's very subtle. Now, if you can imagine, you know, we have the same animations applied to the logos and we have animations applied to the text as well. This page could look very nice. So I'm going to show you how I did this using Oxygen Builder. Okay, so I've already set up my page in Oxygen. and I'll just show you what it looks like on my stagger image. Edit with Oxygen. Okay, so it's a very basic page. First, I've just got some uh, FAQs. And as I go down, this is going to be our focus element here. What this is, is just a wrapper with a lot of images inside of it. And these elements are actual images. Uh, we have a logo section and uh, just a basic CTA and a footer. So what I'm going to do is on this parent element, I'm just going to apply a class that we can use to target in motion page. And we're going to use this class um, in the selector and then we'll target every image inside of it. So let's just do um, something like this. So MP stagger image, just a class that's easy for me to remember. So I've applied that to the parent, as you can see. And that's basically it. So I'm just going to save this now and I'm going to open up motion page over here. So I'm going to create a new timeline. And for this, I'm just going to call it um, image stagger. Let's target the page that we made here. Okay, so all we need to do now, very simple, is we'll just change this to um, scroll trigger. Uh, look to scroll bar. I'll turn this down to around 0 0.2 seconds. I'm going to leave these as default for now. And I'm just going to use a selector here and the selector I'm going to use is MP stagger image, which was the class that we just created. And then I want to target every image element that's inside of that. So we'll just do this and we'll do image like this. Press enter. So this is going to target every single image. You can see it's highlighting the first instance of the selector. But if I just play around with some properties here, so uh, from opacity zero, and then also what we'll do is we'll scale it up as it loads in. So from, we want it to start smaller. So we'll do 0 0.8, something like that. And also what I'm going to do on the, on the two here, I want to do stagger. And I want to stagger the total amount of one second. Now, because I'm editing this on the two, what I'll also need to do is put these properties back to their defaults. So we want it to come to one opacity and then the scale also needs to go back to one as well. So you can see when we play around with this little uh, slider, it's staggering in quite nicely. So it might be a little bit fast. So all you need to do, if it is too fast, just play around with this number. You could even do each element one second. That will take a very long time, by the way. <laughs> um, so if we change that to 0 0.1, I want to lock this to the scroll bar. So how this is going to work is when you scroll, it's going to fade in. It's going to stagger in as you scroll down. But um, I'm going to put this back to amount and I want to do 0 0.5, something like that. I'll save this. I, I do want to change one more thing, which is the ease. I want to put this to elastic because it just gives it a nice um, animation effect, as you can see. So we'll save this. So I've just saved it and let's have a look at it on the front end here. I'm going to use the scroll bar because my, my scroll wheel on my mouse is a little bit broken. So as you can see, we're scrolling down. Uh, that was pretty good, actually. Because uh, it's locked to the scroll bar, you can see it reverses as we go up as well. So it's just a very nice, simple, quick effect that you can use. You'll also notice here that um, I have some names coming up underneath. This is just using a third party and uh, I will link that in the description for you, but in Oxygen Builder, all I've done is used TPJS. This is a, a JavaScript library. And in here, I've just added uh, some scripts and some JavaScript here. And the way this works is if I click on one of the images, in Oxygen at least, on the attributes, you just use these properties, data to be content, and this is the name that you want to display. And then you can also use placement so it comes up at the bottom of the element when you hover over it. 
it does come with some um, some nice things. You can change the the colors of it and stuff like that. So as you can see, it's coming up underneath the uh, element there. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, I just thought I'd show you a very nice, simple effect today. Nothing too long, nothing too special. But I think in the next video tutorial, we can we can move to something a little bit more advanced because I think the tutorials at the moment have been pretty simple. So from next week, I think we will transition to something more uh, complex and maybe even design a full page. So if that sounds good, then make sure you check in next week. So there you have it guys, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, a like and please do consider subscribing and like I said before, next week I think we will be making a little bit more complex animations so if that sounds good then be sure to come back next Monday and I'll see you next time, thank you very much.